Welcome back to Africacom TV, where we are accelerating the uh, digital transformation of uh, Africa. And of course, uh, many, many conversations we've brought to you so far for this conference. And uh, joining us from Green Road Bank now, uh, Unati Mgya, the Chief Technology Officer. Uh, you just delivered a presentation on why South Africa is uniquely positioned to benefit from the global digital revolution. Tell us about some of your key points. Well, the interesting thing about it, obviously, and I was just telling the audience there, that you know people look at this and start thinking it's talking about the state of readiness, all right? So the only country that is not uniquely positioned is one that, is, that doesn't have problems. Yeah. Okay. So mainly, we so uniquely positioned to benefit from these technologies in terms of the new jobs that it brings, in terms of the societal problems that it solves just developments in education and in health because we've got such challenges you know we've got such a deficit in those areas we are therefore uniquely uh, positioned to benefit from it meaning there's no way we cannot benefit from mm. it yeah and are we in a position where we are one identifying what those opportunities are and two exploiting it using the term positively for us to start drawing benefit from those opportunities you know, it, it, it's difficult to answer that correctly because it depends on who you're speaking to, right? So my view is that our state of readiness could be better. In many ways, uh, these four our technologies are with us. They're not on their way, they are with us. And, 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 and we're using some of them now. We're just talking, like in the health, health I'm wearing a Garmin, okay, which is able um, uh, to measure my blood pressure because I'm a runner and I use it quite efficiently. That's a 4IR four, uh, four technology right there. Okay, so the problem, but in fact, my, my topic was uh, uh, embrace 4IR or be left behind. So what typically happens, the first, second, third revolution, did we embrace it? The jury is out. Um, the third revolution would be the one that came with computing, that came with IT, um, you know, uh, and, and, and internet usage. And as you will know, um, there's still a number of people who do not know what internet does. I mean, in the context of South Africa, that is. Yeah. So it tells me, and, and I don't know if there's been a study of what the penetration is in this country. There's been many studies, I suppose, but um, in many ways, we still haven't benefited as we could have, yeah. even in the third digital revolution. So um, we're at a stage now where we must start, not start, I mean, these technologies are right here, but how What's the percentage of our society that's going to embrace it? Um, that will, at the end, influence that South Africa has actually embraced it. You know, so. You also participated in a panel discussion talking to the digital customer experience. What were some of the key takeaways from that? You know, a, the customer is very powerful now. Whether the customer is me or you, you know, the customer I am today is not the customer I was ten years ago. Um, but some of those advantages have come with disruption, have come with the advancement in technology, they've made the customer wiser. So the customer wants instant gratification, they want instant responses and they're not going to wait. So I think uh, a, a, a lot of our discussion then was in recognition of the power that the customer has yeah. and how, for instance, when I answered, um, you know, what, what, does, what does it mean for you? And for me, it means someone knowing my name. It means customizing my service according to my needs in the way that I'm going to appreciate it. Whether we're talking B2B or B2C, that still remains. Very true. Um, what technologies or trends in tech, I suppose, are exciting you at the moment? What are you watching closely? You know, I'll be, so this whole 4IR, and I sometimes hate using the expression, but all the technologies that are part of 4IR, um, their development, artificial intelligence, blockchain. I understand some more than others, um, but all of these 4IR technologies are something to watch, um, are something to to benefit from. Yeah. You know, and um, I was just sharing with the audience how about the gig economy. You'll understand this because you you maybe are closer to the arts. <laughs> Normally, a gig and a hustle is, yes. is something that exists in the exactly. arts. Exactly. But the the, the first 10 most popular jobs in the gig economy are the 4IR technologies. So, um, so it's, it's, it's one thing to say which ones do you follow, but it's, it's, 
not advisable to not to watch those exactly. at this point in time. Exactly. Yeah. Um, events like Africa Com then become important in order for us to be exposed to new ideas, inspiration if nothing else, and what is to come. Yeah. Look, for me, of course, there's a lot of conferences throughout the year. For me, this is the one I don't like to miss because I find, one, it brings Africa in one place and it brings experiences that uh, experiences of people in Africa across many industries in one place. So I find it very useful and um, I, I would still recommend someone t people to attend it. And um, I think one can learn a lot, you know. I I'm sure you learn a lot uh, from all the people that you amount. interact yes. with. <laughs> that you interact with. So it's quite useful. And I think they try as well to be ahead of the curve yeah. in terms of what's going on, in terms of the future, just the impact in, in this continent. So it's, it becomes very useful, yeah. Unati, thank you very much for joining us at Africa Com TV. Thank you, Africa. Unati um, Kya is the Chief Technology Officer at Grunrod Bank.